welcome to week number two so this week is circus week and i'm thinking i'm gonna go for like the red and white like tent circus tent moment maybe like it trickled down a little bit on the skin but we're gonna go through it together but yeah let's get into the video what i'm gonna do is go in with the red before i start going in with any black or white or anything just because i feel like they're easily mixed colors so i'm just gonna go into the red using a bit of water start making a bit, little bit of a paste in the palette putting the brush both sides and you want to make sure your brush is nice and fine and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to draw a small little semicircle and this is going to be the top layer of our tent just right in the middle of the forehead and it doesn't have to be neat just to make sure it's just a nice little semicircle, and then I'm just going to take a little bit more paint and join it up up to where the middle of your hairline would be. Right, just like so. And then what I'm going to do is do two lines. Down, and they're just going to follow down past the eyebrows and this is going to be the top of our tent so it looks a little bit strange for now but it'll all come together so I'm going to take a little bit more water and the red paint I'm just going to start to draw in some stripes so you want them to start off thicker at the bottom and get thinner as they get to the top to give a little rounded shape like so and you want to make sure you're adding a tiny bit of a curve to each line just to give it a bit more of a 3d effect come straight down I'm going to keep the brush as thin as possible. I'm filling the little strips. Yep. And then the last little one. I'm going to make this one a little bit of a thin one. Don't want too much red. Just like that. So you want to make sure your paintbrush is as clean as possible. You're going to go in with a bit of water and in with the white paint, it's this one here, and swirl around and just make a little bit of a paste. Now with the white you don't want it to be too watery just because it's a light colour, it'll just wash it off a little bit too much and you won't be able to see it on the skin. So silly me got a bit of red in it but hopefully it'll still come out white. So then I'm just going to go in between the red stripes with this white paint and I'm just going to dab it on rather than swipe it just to try and prevent mixing in with the red paint that we've already put down. And remember you don't want this too watery or it won't show up. one you want to make sure you're really coating the brush and the little baby hair is going to get involved but it's fine and just keep on it in being as careful as you can And then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the red paint and just do a little pole at the top because that's where the flag would usually be. Obviously it just depends on how high you've took the tent up your forehead. 
So again, with the red paint, I'm just going to start to create the stripes on the bottom half. So I am taking this one out a little bit further, just so we can go past the eyebrow. Because I'm not too sure. how wide I want to take this one yet. So remember, keep it thinner at the top and get thicker towards the bottom. And I'm just going to carry on doing that all along. And just hold it. And as well, you want to angle your stripes going away from each other and that will make it look a little bit more 3D rather than going straight down. I'm just gonna keep on going. Then I'm gonna do it with this side. Again, taking it just a little bit further off away from the eyebrow and if you want you can just sketch where you want your lines to go and then fill them in a little bit wider once you're happy with the placement and take a little bit more water And I'll be flicking away. And we're going to go in with the white and fill in the little spaces again. You want to make your white piece, remember not to have it too wet. And just start filling in the little gaps. And you can always keep going over your white once it's dry to keep building it up if it's not showing up enough. Same on this side. Let's add a bit more water. And make sure you're keeping your white paint as white as possible because it might start mixing with the red paint a little bit on your brush and then when you dip your brush back in it turns it a bit pink what you can do is just have a little towel next to you or a wipe and wipe over the top of your white paint just to get rid of the pink and then that way it'll stay white and you're putting it back on your face little tip and then now for the centre I'm really making sure that my brush is coated or putting it on. So I think I'm just going to make this a little bit a bit thicker, like the red part. Just go a little bit thicker towards the centre. And the same for this one. And then what I'm going to do is take a bit more of the red and just thicken up this top layer of the tint and like wing it off a little bit so it looks like it's blowing off a bit. 
just so it shows that it's in two tiers. Like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two yellow flags either end. So again, in with the red paint, making sure your brush is nice and flat. I'm just going to go straight off here. A bit more paint. And straight off here. I'm trying to make sure they're the same height. I'm just going to flick the ends of the tent up like that. You don't have to flick the ends up, you can do whatever kind of shape tent you want. So, with the brush that we had the white paint on, I'm just going to clean that off. Just take a little wipe. This one's just a little wipe I used to clean my palette before. Make sure it's nice and clean. Dip in some water. And dip into that yellow paint, a nice shimmery one. And you want to make it a nice little paste again. Still making sure the brush is nice and flat. Oh, you want to move it outwards, outwards. So then we're just going to do a little triangle flag like this. Maybe you can see it. Yellow's hard to show up on the skin. So, just make a nice little yellow flag on one side and then do the same this side. So again, coat the brush nice and flat, just because you can use the flat edge to make the lines for your triangle. And fill it in. like so so this is like the start of something I'm gonna try so I'm gonna dip a little brush you can use your normal brushes as well just be very careful dip your brush in a lot of water and just press it into your paint you want to use quite a little bit of water for this because I'm just gonna do a few little matching tears here and then a red lip and then I might do some little juggling balls here I'm not sure so I'm gonna make it quite watery. Don't go too close to the eye. You wanna start like maybe above your cheek and just start dabbing. And even if you get a little bit of water, and put that straight onto the skin. Just made a little bit of a tear. So I'm gonna do it again. Loads of water into the palette. And then I'm gonna do one here. Not starting too close to the eye at all and start to dribble it down. Just like that, and I might just do one more here. So loads of water into the paint, press it, and start to pull it down like little tears. You can make these as big or as small as you want, I'm just gonna do that many. Yep. So same for the other side, watery, starting here and if you want you can push your brush right down and make little tears I'll do the white ones with the big brush so you can see what it looks like with the big brush as well and then a bit of water no extra paint and just dribble it down a little bit so I think I'm just going to do two on this side and just make them look more fun. Again, so with the brush that I use for the yellow, I'm going to clean it off on a wipe. Loads of water. I'm trying to get rid of that yellowy colour. Dip your brush in. And make loads of water into the white shade on the palette. Might need quite a bit of water for this one. And just in between that, dribble some white. So just build up the white colour. Keep layering over it. 
go like this along the other side. Oh yeah, that one went better. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit lower. Just like that. And then with the paintbrush we use for the red paint, I'm gonna coat the brush and just pop it over my lips. Don't put it too close to the inner heart of your mouth. And if you've got a red little lipstick or lip gloss, then do that. Well, I'm just gonna pop this on the outer part of my lip. You don't want to do this, you don't have to. Just makes it come together a little bit more. So, what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of mascara. A little bit of low lash mascara too. And we look up. Right, so this is the finished circus look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's fun to recreate. The tears are completely optional. The face paint on the lips is completely optional. I just think it'd be fun. And it's a bit of art, isn't it, on the face? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to see all your recreations. I am on the video call. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!